your guilty plea is a blind plea or a non-negotiated plea, the state is making a recommendation of sentencing to the court, notwithstanding the fact that this is a blind plea. You understand that, Mr. Williams? Okay. And Mr. Williams, were you aware of the state's previous offer that was turned down prior to your making this non-negotiated plea? Yes. All right. And Your Honor, at this time, the state is making a recommendation of 45 years with 25 to serve in custody, followed by 20 on probation, subject to the special requirements of 1615-4, the gang statute. All right. And do you want to break down for me what your recommended sentence on each count is? Yes, Your Honor. The state is recommending on count one, five years to serve. Count 56, 20 years to serve consecutively to count one. Count 57, five years of probation to serve consecutively to count 56. Count 58, 10 years of probation to serve concurrently with count 57. Count 59, five years of probation to serve concurrently with count 57 and 58. Count 60, five years of probation concurrent with count 57, 58, and 59. Count 61, five years of probation consecutive to count 57. And count 62, 10 years of probation consecutive to count 61. All right, thank you. Mr. Williams, did you discuss the state's previous offer with your attorneys? Yes. Okay. All right, and, and so we're all clear that we're talking about the same thing. Can you put what the state's previous offer was on the record for me, please? I can, Your Honor. Thank you. The state's previous offer was a total of 43 years with 20 to serve, I'm sorry, 20 years, um, five years to serve on count 56, commuted to time served, followed by 15 years on probation. On count 58, the sentence was 10 years to serve in the Georgia Department of Corrections, consecutive to count 56. Count 59 was three years to serve in the Georgia Department of Corrections, consecutive to counts 56 and 58. Count 60 was five years to serve in the Georgia Department of Corrections, consecutive to counts 56, 58, and 59. Count 61 was five years to serve in the Georgia Department of Corrections, consecutive to counts 56, 58, 59, and 60. Was that the entirety of no. what the sentence was? No, no Your Honor. I'm I mean, still I know there reading. were special conditions. So y'all were there in are, null cross? We, what? Yeah, one yeah. and 62? Yes, as okay. part of the recommended sentence in exchange for the defendant agreeing to the special conditions that we asked the court to impose, the state was willing to null cross count one, count 57 and count 62. Okay, and then all of that consecutive um, to the probation, that was going to be what we call backloaded and what were y'all what were y'all proposing with regard to that since it was the to total of the probated sentence? The total sentence was 43 years to serve with the first five years in prison commuted to time served followed by 15 years on probation followed by 23 years in prison which would have been served in confinement, except that if defendant had complied with the special conditions of probation imposed as part of this sentence, the backloaded portion of defendant's sentence would have been commuted 
However, should defendant had violated any special condition of probation with the first within the first 15 years of his sentence, his probated sentence would have immediately been revoked and he would have been required to serve the entire remainder of his sentence confined to the Georgia Department of Corrections. All right. So as long as he uh, had successfully completed his 15 years of probation, the uh, 23 years that was going to follow it was going to be commuted to time served as long as his probation was successful. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And the special, would the court like for us to? No, I was really more interested in the um, the length of sentence and, and what y'all had. Um, I mean, I know you didn't reach agreement, but y'all, that's what the last offer had been with, of course, a bunch of special conditions, which I guess is where the hang-up is. I don't know. Right. Defendant okay. did not want to agree to okay. the special conditions. All right. Is that basically your understanding, too? Mr. Yes, Your Honor. It would Mr. have been. Adams. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Williams uh, would have been released today for 15 years on probation if he successfully completes that probation. Then he would not have to go to custody. If he did not, he'd face probation revocation as well as 23 years, as the um, court said, backloaded in the Georgia prison system. But okay. we could not come to terms on all the conditions that the district attorney was insisting upon. Okay. All right. Thank you. Go ahead, Ms. Love. Okay. And Mr. Williams, were you aware of that previous offer as well as all of the requirements that that offer would have entailed? Yes. Okay. And had you had enough time to discuss that particular offer with your attorneys? Yes. All right. The previous one? The previous yes. offer. Yes. Do you understand that the court can impose any sentence authorized by law, including a higher sentence than that recommended by the state, up to the maximum sentence on each charge in this indictment. Do you understand that, Mr. Williams? Yes. Do you understand that if you enter into a non-negotiated plea, you do not have a right to withdraw your plea once the sentence has been announced? Yes. Do you understand that this is a guilty plea which is permanently recorded on your criminal history? Yes. Do you understand that this plea may be used to enhance sentencing on other convictions in this jurisdiction as well as in other jurisdictions, including in the federal courts? Yes. Do you understand that if you are currently on probation or parole, your probation or parole may be revoked based on your entering a guilty plea today? I'm not on probation. Okay. So yeah, you're not if, on probation. If you were on probation, yes, yes, yes. but if you're not, then it doesn't matter. Okay. Do you understand that if you are placed on probation of any kind by this court, you cannot violate any criminal laws of any governmental unit or any special conditions of probations without being subject to revocation for the balance of the sentence the court imposes? Yes, I know. I know. Do you understand that you are not allowed to possess or use a firearm while on probation? Yes. Do you understand that if you are not a United States citizen, a guilty plea conviction will affect your immigration status and will result in deportation, just like a conviction at a trial would, and that this is true regardless of any advice by your attorney or anyone else? Yes. Do you understand that neither the court, your attorney, nor the district attorney's office has anything to do with parole and the Department of Corrections or Board of Pardons and Paroles, and that no one can guarantee parole no matter what anyone has told you? Yes. Do you understand that there may be other adverse or unfavorable consequences as a result of this guilty plea conviction, just as there would be from a conviction following a trial? For example, your guilty plea may affect the right to vote, the right to hold public office, the right to serve on a jury, the right to obtain a passport, the right to receive, possess, or transport a firearm, or the ability to obtain employment. Do you understand that, Mr. Williams? Yes. Do you understand that by pleading guilty to a felony, if you use, receive, possess, or transport a firearm, or if you use a firearm in a crime, you will be guilty of a felony, which may carry a sentence of up to one of one to 15 years in prison. Yes. Okay. 
Do you understand that you waive any and all defenses, including any mental health defenses, by entering a plea of guilty? Yes. Do you understand that if you went to trial, you would have the right to, a that if you continued at trial, rather, you would continue to have the right to a trial by jury, the right to see, hear, and confront witnesses called to testify against you, and the right to testify or to remain silent and not incriminate yourself. Do you understand all of those things? Yes. Do you understand that by pleading guilty, you are giving up the following rights? The right to a trial by jury. Do you understand that? Yes. The right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself? Yes. The right to confront witnesses against you? Yes. The right to continued assistance of counsel hired by you or to court appointed counsel if you cannot afford an attorney at the continued trial of your case? Yes. The right to the presumption of innocence? Yes. The right to testify on your own behalf and to present other evidence? Yes. The right to subpoena witnesses and compel the production of evidence? Yes. The right to have the charges against you proven beyond a reasonable doubt? Yes. The right to appeal if convicted of these charges after a trial? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Has anyone forced, threatened, or promised you anything to get you to enter a guilty plea? No. Is it your decision to waive these rights and enter a guilty plea because you are in fact guilty? Yes. Well, Your Honor, may I interject? You may. Your Honor, on count one, which is the racketeering conspiracy count, Mr. Williams is tendering a plea under nolo contendere as to count 56, which is participation in a criminal street gang activity as being a leader or a supervisor or organizer. Mr. Williams is also tendering a plea to this honorable court as under nolo contendere. The balance